And so guys, girls, uh, ladies have to look like that before they enter the the king's tomb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, this palace was from Tessa one the king. Uh, he came here in 1882, that's when he established this palace. When he died, he was buried in this house. This was his house. And those one who came after him were also buried in this house. In this house. And so take a photo. we have got 38 kings who have ruled the Buganda kingdom. Uh, Currently, every king is supposed to build his own palace. So this was the palace from Tessa, one the Thank king. You. Tessa, one the king. So Buganda people, when Tessa the one died, he was number 34. So those one who came after him, they were also buried in this very house. Uh, number 35, number 36, number 36. They were buried in this house. Even the current king, number 38, will be buried here. If he died, they will bring him here. So right now there is a king. Oh. There is a king now. Hey, Kabaka Mutesa three. Oh. Is it three? Mutesa two. Oh. Not Mutesa. It's called Ronald Mwenda Mutesa. Yeah. You're seeing this gate here? Uh -huh. This gate is only for the royal members. When they die, they pass them here. But when they are still alive, they don't allow them to use this gate. Then that gate there is only for the king. When the king is coming here, that's when they open it. Our king here in Uganda. He's supposed to have 36 names. One of his name is a lion. That's why you are seeing those two pictures at the gate. Okay. Then this house here is the first house from Tessa one the king. It is called Ibujabukula. Ibujabukula means growing slowly, slowly in English. Uh, at the same time, it's the main entrance of the hollow palace. All people are supposed to use to go through that house when they are entering inside the palace. Okay. Oh, so so even as we can't enter through this this gate. You're not a king. <laughs> oh, okay. You have King to is excluded. You have to start. <laughs> <laughs> you can see this house here. Yeah. Okay. Mm. What is he doing? Sydney, look at me. Picture. Come take me one. Okay. You can see this house here. Uh, uh, it's supposed to have two royal guards. The main chief guard, Cody Mulamba, is supposed to see the other side. Then his deputy is supposed to see this side. The main chief guard comes from. You can see here. This is the office for the main chief guard. He enters through here. Then his deputy enters through that side. You are seeing that old man there, who is seated, seated outside there, yeah. the deputy chief guard. He's like eight years old. Here they don't retire, not he until was someone died, 98 huh? years old. Then wow. these rings up here, you are seeing them. these rings, they represent clans in the kingdom. In Uganda we have 56 clans, each ring representing a clan. But since the house is small, they cannot reach 55. They can't reach 55. Uh, if you buy a big house, they are 50, rather 56. They are 56 rings, each ring representing a clan. Any question before we leave here? Where are what some black? It's an office. Where are some black and the other is the, the rings? The what? The black one? Mm -hmm. Oh, this house, some time back, like 20 <coughs> years back, it, the roof got burnt. Uh, and it, those were the one which they rescued. They oh. managed to rescue, that's why they are black like that. Okay. Yes. But what caused the fire? No one knows. I, you know, accidents Secret. can come. <laughs> Anything can yeah. happen. These are flammable things. Okay. These are flammable materials. So, quick and fast. Sorry. Yeah. You say the deputy passes through here. Yes. To where? We have another person. So, 
That's the room. Can, can we pee? So they have to, they have to go in and then come out. That's why we are, we are peeping, not entering. Mm. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ndogo Obukaba Royal Drum House. Let me take a picture. Do you mind taking a photo with me? Mm-hmm. Okay, you don't want a photo with me. We can take a photo here. Yeah. Don't mind. Do you want to join Of all of you? Yeah. yeah. No, if you want to. Like you photo. should be oh, in the photo. Me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> you can come. Oh. Okay. Our back, it's a back. Before missionaries came here, it was our material for making clothing. We had nothing like this. This one, we get it from a skin of a tree. An African figgy tree. You remove the skin of that tree, you get a wooden hammer made, you pound it, you pound it, you pound it. After pounding it, you put in the sunshine. It gets dry. After getting dry, then you design what you want. This back clothes here in Uganda, when someone dies, we bury him in the back clothes. It works like a preservation method. We preserve the body for many years. Someone can stay for 200 years huh? yeah. when he's buried in this. And when the kings, uh, he, when the kings die, they bury, they wrap him in 350 back clothes. A clan leader, 185 back clothes. And an ordinary member of the community? Only three. Do you put any preservatives or just that? Just this one. Then this, this, this one, this one here, they use it for taking local beer, which is a guard for taking local beer. They put local beer, they sit around like a four men or five, they use this long straws, <laughs> then they start enjoying it. Hmm. Uh, the local, have you ever seen the local beer? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, uh, okay. This local beer, uh, uh, it's made from millet or soga. Or a banana, mm-hmm. yeah. Then also we have this here. This one is a duplicate cannon gun. It was a gift given to Mutesa one by Queen Victoria of England. So the original gun is no longer existing. They stole it during war. So the Baganda decided to duplicate it for remembrance. Yes. Now why is the bullet coming from here? <laughs> from here, yeah. It's a duplicate. Yeah. So, <laughs> but this one is. <laughs> And the question before we leave here? No, sir. Okay, let's go out there. Why are we not That is the name of that house. Mm-hmm. It's where they bury the kings. It was the house from Tessa One. When that house that. is the one which got burnt 2010 under construction by UNESCO. They haven't finished it. Yeah. If they finish it, everybody will be able to go there. Wow. You see, this is how it look like inside that big house. Oh, it's 56 rings inside there. 56 wow. rings there. Mm. Inside there, we have four kings who are buried there. One, Mutesa one, the owner of this palace. This is the man here. Yeah. He's the owner of this palace. When he died, he was buried in his house and he was succeeded by his son, Dawoodi Chua. Dawoodi, uh, rather Mwanga II. This is Mwanga II. Mwanga II, when he died, he was buried also inside there. And he was succeeded. Mwanga II is the one he got to buy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. So this is the man who killed them. 
Have you ever heard about it? Mm -mm. You don't give know? Okay. Yeah, give them a small ah, background. Ah, okay. Uh, Uganda matters. When missionaries came here, they brought Christianity, mm -hmm. and Arabs brought Islam. Yeah. So by there, they had only traditional religion. And this man who was the one who was there. Uh, he, he never wanted the foreign religion. So his, some of his people converted to Christianity, and the, and the others converted to Islam. He decided to kill them, and they were named the Uganda Martyrs. So every third John, people come all over the world in other area to visit that place to, to to remember those people and it's a very good tourist attraction site you can reach there one time if you are still in uganda called namugongo namugongo you can visit that place and see those people who were killed by this king so this king he was also buried there and he was succeeded by his son daudi chua daudi chua became a king when he was only one old then later also died and he was buried also there and he was sacked by his son, Mutesa II. Mutesa II, he was a king at the same time, the first president of Uganda. Mm. Uganda was colonized by Brits and got independent in 1962. So this man became the first president of Uganda. At the same time, the king of Uganda. When he died, he was buried also inside that house. At the same time, the father of the current king is the man here, called Ronald Mwenda Mutemi. This man, if he dies, they will bring him here in that house. Okay. What's his name? Go, uh -huh. Ronald Mwenda Mte. Uh -huh. Yes. That's the count. Okay. Yeah. In this, uh, here in Uganda, in Uganda, they believe that kings, they don't die. You may ask why this house is around here. This, this, this brother told me, asked me why is it a mm. committee. Those houses, they were for wives of the okay. kings. The original wives, they all died. But as I told you that here they believe that kings, they don't die. The spirits of the king, they have to go back and bury other women to come and succeed those ones who died. So these ones living there, they are successors of the original wives. And they believe that those are their husbands in the house. Oh. Have you understood? No question. Yes. So if, for example, that one yeah. is the wife number 40. Yes. When she dies, yes. another one will come back. Yes. Oh. Will come and occupy the house. I know that. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, another thing here in Uganda, they believe that all women belong to the king. Okay. <coughs> Even if you are married and a king admires you, okay. he can pick you from your husband and you'll have to accept unless when you are not a Muganda. That's if a you are not a Muganda, you can say no. But if you are Muganda, you have to accept and the husband will have at, will have to appreciate the king. Hey. Hey. Yes. Hey, for taking his <laughs> wife. <laughs> 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 Okay, so basically, these people, way. now, you now, must, let me these people you, that are coming are royals. Mm -hmm. You will even become husbands. Right. You will become happy yeah. because you are, you are married to the king. Even the husband, <laughs> the husband, even the 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 king. The king. I, you are <laughs> married to the king. Because now you, are, you have entered, you have joined the royal oh. family. You have joined the royal family. Wow. And the husband who has given out the, his, hus his wife, maybe, is going to also to... To get first of all, he can, he get a new, can he get a new wife? Sorry, can he get a new wife? Yes, he can get a new wife. <laughs> <laughs> is, is she still his wife? Sorry, is, when you get I know a new he wife? cannot be, he can't be still his wife. He can't, oh. he can't be his wife. You know, he's taken. Yes, taken. And you get any gifts from the king when you? Of course. First of all, here the land, the, the land in Uganda, it belongs to the king. The whole land in Uganda belongs to the king. So when you, you give come from Europe and buy land here. If you buy a land here, you have to pay tax to the king. Mm -hmm. Here, yeah, here, in Uganda. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Any question? So on the internet, are those graves? Where are they? Sorry? The graves. <laughs> you are going to the graves for? For the, yeah, I see I'm going to show you for the wives, also, and also for the, the kids. Then, then you come back. Okay. okay. Let's, let's move around here. So if I marry a girl from this people, eh? Yeah? You become a royal. <laughs> Technically, yes. Huh? Technically, yes. We are going this way. Let's pass this way. Come on. Would I urge you to get a video? Ah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
CCTV cameras for the grass. <laughs> <laughs> So they are, they are benefits. Yeah, they are benefits. <laughs> so this is for a couple. If you don't mind your wife, that's also a benefit. These are some of the wives of those things. And here they bar according to how they bury their husband in the big house. You are seeing this one from here up to there. They are facing that direction. It means their husband is facing that direction in the big house. Then the other group down there, they are facing up. It means... It means their husband is facing up in the house. Oh. Then comes this side. So let's calculate first. This one had how many wives? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I think seven it's... Seven, I two. <laughs> Felicitas Manjeri Nakamate. And it's hmm? just recent. Yeah, for anger. Yeah. 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 When did, it, when did it burn? Yeah. When, did, when was it burned down? Straight time, straight case. Oh, it was straight the case. Oh, they've taken yeah. a, a very long time, time to renovate. Yes, yeah, they started in 2015. 13 years. They started in 2015. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 2015. Uh, you know why it has overlaid? You know, those are natural materials. And also, there are some rituals which they always perform. They have to go slow. Mm -hmm. not, this building is not big like any other uh, other house. When you finish this house, you may construct the big, big buildings, like yeah. 10 of them. So why is this the affair of the whites and not the affairs of the Ugandan government? Mm. The what? Why is building this house the, the affairs of the whites yes. and not the affairs of the Ugandan government? Uh, okay, like, uh, why is it that uh, the, the, the UNESCO, UNESCO is the, is the one, one that is uh, building the houses and not Ugandans not themselves? Okay, okay, I'm not, I'm getting you. Uh, first of all, it is Uga Ugandans which started with it to construct, but UNESCO mm. came out and to took help. over. Mm. Mm. Then okay. it became uh, a, a, a World Heritage Site. Oh. Oh, so it's yeah, listed, but, but, this place is listed as uh, one of the World Heritage, World Heritage Sites, Heritage yeah? Site. Oh, okay. They gave money to help with the construction. Oh, yeah, uh, I see. Even the UNESCO is the one which bring everything. Uh, even though the fire extinguishers, they have the many, many fire extinguishers. Yes, yes, they are constructed. <laughs> very big water tank there, it's on standby. In okay. case of any fire outbreak, okay. so they are there to, to help, yes. How long did it take to build in the first place? The what? When yeah. they first built this? Yeah. You know how long it took to go? I, I don't remember. In modern day, it takes yeah, yeah. 13 years. So in, old, in the olden times, maybe. Yeah. It took yeah. much longer. Yeah. Oh, a lot of graves. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Can they repeat that operation? When we were here. Will there be a party? Oh. Yeah. So, okay. are these royals? Yes. All these ones, you can see here, this is where the barrier prince and princess. All these ones are children of those kings. The current king has not yet lost any child. Where you see cross, they were Christians. Where you see cross like this one, they were Muslims. Oh. But you are all children of those kings. The current king has not yet lost any child. Wow, yes. lucky him. So those are royals. Those kids there. And royal kings. The demons will not go. They will come. You'll be cast. <laughs> there is a lot of beliefs. There is a lot of beliefs here. So guys, this was uh, the richest prince, apparently. The one who was uh, the son of David Chua. And he was the last son to die in the year 2014. This, that is just recent. Very recent. So David Alexander Simbo. Okay, I don't even understand what those words mean. Hmm. Okay, this grave was visited recently. This one was just visited very, very recently. And then there is this one here. Omulembe Victoria Luende. Muwala Wamula. Okay, I really don't understand. Mama Wafemu. Oh, okay. I don't get it. By the way, where will they bury Mutu Museveni when he dies? <laughs> <laughs> Museveni is just a president. He's not a king. Sure. Yeah, sure, sure. And here, people were eating ugali, they are the poor. Oh, what? That hurts. That hurts. Give a canyon. Well, chairman, for us, if you eat matoke every day, you're also poor. Because you can't afford it. <laughs> that hurts, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> pumpkin. Yeah, the pumpkin leaf. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, can I pick one? Pumpkin leaf. So this is how you prepare. My mom taught me how to do this mm. when I was still surviving in the bush. <laughs> and you also have to remove inside, uh, even inside. Yeah. yeah, like. And then you, yeah. remove, you remove like this. Huh? This is the bit you eat. Yeah, this is the bit that you eat. So you just slice them like this and then boil. Ah, yeah. what do you call it? This is a uh, pumpkin, pumpkin leaf. leaf. No, in in yeah. Kenya, Sebebe. Sebebe. Uh, <laughs> you read that plant. On arrowroot? Yeah. <laughs> What's the difference between arrowroot and yam? Do you know? Arrowroot. 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 Yeah. Nduma. 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 Uh, and then you know, the yeah. Yams. Ah, arrow, arrow. Yeah, yams. The other no, these are not arrowroots. Uh, uh, these were... The, these ones, they, they, they are just similar. They are just similar, I think. Really? I know the difference. I'll show you. Okay. Eh. Ah, ah, I'm really on it. Okay, you can look at this. How they are all, how they are all occupied with Tom. And they are, we are all wise from Tessa Wilde, the king. Sorry? Tom. Tom. Inside. 
they are occupied with probes inside there and we are all wise to test our world. Can you okay. can you get in? Uh, no, you will see I'm going to open for you one there. Okay. You have a look. Then this house here, the first iron sheet house to be constructed in the Buganda Kingdom. Oh. By then it we had only grass such houses. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we, all, we had only grass such houses. It was constructed by women. The women they no. could do each and everything. Who lives there now? No one lives there. Ah, I can oh, see people. They just keep things. Inside, they yeah? just keep things there. They just Thank keep you. things. Come on. Come on, go. <laughs> Can I see that one? Is it yeah. a bird or something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Give me where are you going? Yeah. Okay, let's come. Let's oh, go this side. Let's go this side. Can I, can I? <laughs> so guys, uh, these, these are sugar cane from the kingdom. Can I get sugar cane from the kingdom? Royal sugar, come on. <laughs> from the grave. Oh, the, 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 the dead don't mind. <laughs> Fire extinguishers everywhere. Can we? If you're opening it, it's a hard for TV, I'm guessing. This one, they are just sisters, but they also die. You are by the outside here. Oh, so, uh, sure. Yes, they don't allow us to open these houses. I'm just going to open for you shortly. I close. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, you want to I'm, am I your assistant? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why are you greeting? You're greeting royals like that. Yeah, I need to know. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Hello, sir. Are you opening a portable? Are you opening? Yeah. You're not opening? Oh, I wanted to. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's tombs everywhere. Everywhere. Chicken. 
The royal family members are prepared from this very house. When the rain king gives the tombs, he literally becomes a prince because this is the palace of his forefather. What they mean when the king visits this place, he has to enter this house and remove the crown before it goes to that big one. Then, after leaving the, the other one, he comes back and puts back the crown, he becomes the king again. Because where he's going, those are kings already. He has to remove the crown, he becomes a prince. Oh. Yes. Then from there, after leaving the other one, he comes back and put back the crown. He becomes the king when he's leaving. Okay. Unless you have any questions, but oh, that's the end of our tour. This thing, I need blood. Yes. Where does this blood come from? Uh, you know, <laughs> I, 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 the blood, you know, there was, they used to have arguments and fights. Oh. From nowhere, you find them fighting. From nowhere, you find them fighting. fighting. They end up bleeding. Blood. Mm. You see the difference between our pronunciation, Lola? Kikome. This one is Kikome. Yeah. Is pronunciation? Kikome. 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 I... So K-I is C-H-I. Uh, but why, why, why is it not? <laughs> if you want to know more about it, also this, you just know what I had us with in this book. Talk about huh? the Pacific home. Let's know more about this. Like, it's in English. You have a Swahili version? Sorry? Swahili version? No. Swahili version? Well, no, no. It's oh. not, yes, English and French. And how much is it? <laughs> this one is really like 40,000. I can offer to translate it to Swahili and then you guys can pay me. I'll take a group photo of us. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Where is the most best camera? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you are you are being recorded. You are being recorded. Yeah, so you see this these pictures <laughs> like this woman here. This picture is representing a a hardy, a, a struggling mother, a struggling mother. Let me say a Muganda woman is a struggling. Uh, this woman she's you can see uh, she's pregnant. At the same time she's carrying a baby on her back. At the same time with a kid, she's from the garden picking food. Then these uh, elephants representing one life. Then this one, uh, these are women. This woman, as I told you that here in Uganda, woman, uh, women are hard working. This woman, she's pregnant. At the same time, she's from fetching water using a pot. This is how they used to fetch water here in Uganda. Then this one, this man here is representing, is, is representing a struggling father. This man is taking matoke to the market to say using a bicycle. Then these are houses inside the, the palace. Then also this picture here. You see this picture here? This picture, this is how Baganda men introduce themselves to the parents of their wives. It's, uh, a man is going to introduce himself to the parents of his wives. Ah. That's how they normally go. They hey. go with gifts. Uh, women carrying baskets of gifts. That's how they always go. Yeah. So what's the dowry price for a Mugandan girl? Sorry? What's the dowry price for a Mugandan girl? Uh, it depends. It is negotiable. Yeah. <laughs> it is negotiable. I heard that they take the cowling. You negotiate, but also, yes, you can even like a minimum. Let's say a minimum, you have to take a cowling. A cowling, minimum. Yes. But there are those who are rich who take cattles. Take like ten cattles. Yeah. So you know the, the village that they accept the cow legs at this. <laughs> really? <laughs> so that's the end of our tour. Thank you very much for visiting us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too for taking us around. Okay. We appreciate. You can just say hi. So I can hi. just tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this this, this represents which tribe? Uh, the elephant. Uh, uh, now in Uganda. Uh, the tribe. The
And the, the, where he is right now, yes. is there anything that he is uh, protecting or he is just symbolizing just yeah, for... Yes, he is protecting. First of all, you are not supposed to have... Mm. They are the one who are supposed to handle the matters to do to the people. Oh, oh that was the, uh, okay. Uh, wow, that's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I should do that. <laughs> okay, so guys, we are outside Move and uh, close again. Oh, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And guys, as you can see, we've made uh, some new friends here. Yeah, so, so let, let's go. What's your name? So I'm Niall. Niall. Mm-hmm. I'm Kathy. Kathy. Ah, this, one, this one is Sydney. <laughs> <a new friend. laughs> we, we know him already. <laughs> and Emily. And Emily. Okay, so guys, uh, we were we were interacting, and they were telling me that uh, there are some nice things that are that they are doing around uh, Uganda and also in Kenya. But first, I would love to know the experience that you guys have had inside there. Did you like it? Like, what was the experience? <laughs> in the tombs. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, it was a it was a good experience. I think we saw much more than we thought that we would. Um, okay, yeah. I okay. met lots of nice people. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it was just, it was it was just strange, obviously, with the place being burned down. So, yeah. so, so we were uh, looking at some some corrugated sheets. Yeah. But it was it was nice. It was nice to experience it. Yeah. Okay. Are, are you disappointed that you didn't get to see the the, the bigger building, the one that uh, the kings are buried, or uh, it was just okay? What, what, were you disappointed? No, it's okay. Yeah, it was okay. It's being fixed. Emily, <laughs> you're so quiet. I'm shy. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. Disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're disappointed. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen more. Me too. Uh, me too. Time. We'll come back well, when, they're you, launching, when they're launching, when they're launching, I'll be here. Emily. Were you disappointed? Very. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> from here. <laughs> yeah, they're okay. Okay. <laughs> disappointed, not disappointed. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. And, and you? And you? It's fair, fair. And no, you? No, I'm good. I'm good. You're not disappointed. No. Okay. Just in the middle I, of the line. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So guys, mm-hmm. what do you do? Good question. Ask Cassie this question. Oh, okay. Cassie's the, Cassie's the big boss. Okay. <laughs> um, so we work for an architectural design and build okay, construction what? company. Okay. Um, we're it's called Corkin Studio. Okay. We are here in Uganda. We just these guys arrived yesterday. I arrived a week ago, and we're here to build a playground in eastern Uganda in a place called Mbale. Okay. Um, Mbale. Mbale. Yeah. Oh. Kenya Mbale. Uganda Mbale. There's two, but yeah, the one in Uganda. Okay. So we'll be here for six weeks, and there'll be uh, people that come to help, and we'll be working with local people, international people, to come together to build the playground. Wow. Um, so yeah. Okay. Who who is funding the 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 the, the, the whole project? The, the entire project? It's a local charity. It's, it's funding the project. Um, and yeah, we're very excited to get there on Monday. So it should be good fun. We're just showing uh, these guys around Kampala before we go, uh, before we get on the in the car, four to six hours drive all the way to Eastern Uganda. Okay. Um, Have you been, been to Uganda before? This is your first time. This is my first time in Uganda. And you? My fourth time in Uganda. Oh, so you are a local, okay. <laughs> and you? My first time. Oh, it's also your first time. It's yeah. also my first time. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think uh, me, you, and uh, her, first times and then this one and this one and this one okay you you are not yeah. Yeah. maybe yeah, he lives, yeah. He lives, yeah. yeah maybe Nail can share his experience yeah. how he's liking so Uganda I've been to Africa, Africa before but mm-hmm. never never here before so mm-hmm. this is my first time in Uganda okay uh, so it's it is different but it's nice it's nice okay have you been to Kenya never to Kenya never to Kenya and you you've been uh, to Kenya no not to Kenya not to Kenya and you yeah, Kenya. These guys oh, are my first now. time in Africa. Go really? Yeah. Yeah. How are you really loving it? You're going to Kenya. Kenya. In September. Nice. In September. Wow. Wow. Really? Straight to Mombasa. Oh, to Mombasa. Well, I, I, thought, I, thought, mm. I, thought, I thought you'd say Nairobi. I said, yeah. okay, when you come, when you get to Nairobi, uh, call us. Uh, <laughs> so, next time. Next so that time. we can also take you around. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure having you guys uh, with us. Uh, going around and also, I think uh, we've now gotten uh, a picture. Which country do you come from? I've said Kenya. Yeah, so we're all from the UK. Oh, okay. I can see the accent. Oh, the accent. <laughs> Newcastle, England? Oh. Newcastle. I live in Newcastle, yeah. 
Harad and Newcastle accent. Newcastle mm-hmm. is a bit different. Yeah, from, yeah. London. Yeah, from London. London. Uh, yeah, yeah. Has is uh, definitely uh, London. Yeah. Uh, Blackpool, near Manchester. Oh. Manchester. Manchester, yeah. None from Liverpool, huh? None from I'm, I'm alone. I'm all alone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Sydney, where do you hail from? <laughs> Sydney, 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 Sydney is mm. the one who is hosting us, yeah. guys. Yeah. Remember, in our first video, we introduced him, and he's the one that uh, is taking care of us, taking us around Uganda. Because as much as uh, Nolda has been here, she's uh, not uh, familiar with the entire place. So Sydney is the one. Oh, he's a very nice guy. Right? Mm. Yeah, he's a very nice guy. Very he's a good friend. Yeah. yeah. Maybe oh, he okay. can tell us what he's carrying. What are you carrying? This is holy water. How holy? I don't know. It's very holy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe it has the Mackenzie in it, but I think it's holy. What do you plan to do with this? This one? We mm-hmm. will shower with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you guys have, have you guys been to there, to that place? Namgongo. We Namgongo. We've just taken this water from that way, from that place. The one that he was explaining to us yeah, that are the matters. But then you, sh- yeah. you should go there. You should go there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a very nice place. We, we're just coming from there in like, uh, I think, uh, an hour ago. Mm-hmm. Somehow we, we got here. And it was a very nice experience. I would also want you guys to go and experience that. It's a nice one. Because it's a recommendation. Next to the building, building normally two bike rides. Eh? Ah. We go from here, we go to Victoria, we take a boat, and then we go to the village. And then we drive, we can connect two people. Okay. They will not be here. Eh? So <laughs> really? The only one. <laughs> really, <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, now, maybe before that, what uh, has been your biggest takeaway from today's tour at the Kasubi Thums? Uh, <laughs> Any biggest takeaway or just something you've, you've gotten stuck in your mind? The biggest takeaway mm-hmm. that uh, some of the wives, they share houses as a conference. <laughs> <laughs> Will you do that? Will that be you? Can you, share, can you share yeah, a house? Yeah, I'll share with, with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with a co-wife. Can you allow a that? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Ah. We're both dead, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest takeaway, eh? Um, that they taught them to learn to have a fire before they then put the, uh, the extinguishers oh, in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there were some extinguishers after the fire. Yeah. Yeah. You should have had them first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Biggest takeaway. Put true. them there first. Yeah. Okay. Sydney? So the fact that the kings can take anyone's wife, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, well, I was given a chance on the king. Yeah, I, I was coming to say that that looks like you. <laughs> yes, Emily. That the king had eighty something wives. Oh, it's it's Michelle, Michelle is yeah. Yeah. The to the it's, all, it's all about the wives. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's all about the wives. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Definitely. Yeah, the host. What was your biggest takeaway? Okay, the fact that uh, we have an a ninety-year-old man mm-hmm. who is taking care of the palace mm-hmm. and uh, apparently he's not there just for fun he's there to take care of that place okay that one i i really can't fathom i don't know how he's he until he dies. yes until he dies you mm-hmm. know that mm-hmm. is something i don't even understand mm-hmm. yeah so that is my biggest takeaway wow. like i would love to understand mm-hmm. the logic behind that mm-hmm. yeah on a scale of one to ten how much would you recommend someone visiting kasubi thumbs ten being the highest uh, an eight. Eight. Yeah. yeah. I say an eight as well. Eight. It would be higher if it was. The, it was fully if, finished. if it was open. If yeah. It was, if it was, if it was open. all finished. Oh yeah. Time. True. Yeah. True. That's true. For us, we will always go below eight. Save it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if this should disappoint me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say seven. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. There's something. Oh, all right. Talk to Ugandans who haven't visited the place. Tell them something something as in what if they should come or like you should come it's great uh-huh. i'd rate it an eight really oh <laughs> so it's eight sydney you've been jumped she's rated it yes talk to the ugandans who ha- haven't visited the thumbs yet no i'll tell the ugandans yeah mm-hmm. to have the local the local kiosk around here uh-huh. so that when they tell us about matoki we go there and buy matoki Hey, hey. entrepreneur mind. Hey. hey, okay. Talk to the Ugandans. Things. Thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> Say something. Yeah. yeah, thank you for having us. Uh, mm. It was a uh, good call at, at home. Mm. And they were here. Wow. Definitely. Say something. Okay, I'll tell Ugandans. Uh, they have a very great place here. Great history. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which uh, a lot of people don't get to, to, to share. And it's good if they also come here by themselves and at least 
get to experience it mm. because most of the Ugandans that are here mm. are, are not coming to see what is happening here. They mm. just read in the books, just mm. like us there in our country. So it's good to also promote local tourism. Mm -hmm. It's very important at least now um, they'll get to know their history firsthand. Mm. You know? So yeah, that's what I'll tell Ugandans. They're missing a lot in this. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, you can end your video. Now. Ah, I'm ending my video. What? Talk to Ugandans. <laughs> <laughs> Rich culture, beautiful things to see. I love the way there's total nature by the way. It's green. I was showing her the yams that I was trying to capture in the video. So green, so real, so serene. The ambience, top notch. So yes, definitely please come visit the place. I'd rate it at seven, definitely. Because seven and is God's and perfect make, number. make Ugali your step of food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not Matoke, please. Ugali yeah. should be the step of food. Yeah. And yes, good people, it's been amazing. I love Uganda, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, so guys, that is the end of our video. Everybody can just say bye-bye. <laughs>